the inner workings of a jet aircraft. A jet aircraft is an aircraft propelled by jet engines. It reaches optimal efficiency at speeds near or above the speed of sound. But propeller engines do not. Have you ever wondered how this thing works? Well, we've got you covered. In this video, we will show you the inner workings of a jet craft. So buckle up and be sure to like this video. You might also want to subscribe to our channel if you're new here. The Airplane's Frame Thousands of damage-resistant panels are attached to the airframe. The panels and frame make a strong, lightweight craft. Many of these crafts, especially the outer panels, are made from carbon fiber reinforced material. Floor beams attach to frames and support floor panels. Vertical frames underpin the cross sectional tube shape. Long runs run from noose to tail. And between these, a vast network of stingers and intercoastal subframes at the nose. The ray dome shells a weather radar antenna beneath while allowing specific radio frequency to pass through, and a double-layered bird strike barrier is positioned behind that. Higher-grade panels are used in high-traffic areas in the cockpit or flight deck, and lower-grade panels under passenger city. Pressurized regions of planes are isolated from non-pressurized area by pressure bulkheads. The cockpit, passenger cabin, equipment bays, and cargo hold a pressurized during flight. The only unpressurized areas are the redome, landing gear base, center wing box, and tail cone. The Wings A central wing box and nail beam reinforce the airplane. The wing-to-body fairing closes and reinforces the wing-to-body attachment. Middle wing box to wingtip has two sets of spars. Titanium bolts, linked aluminum and titanium plates for a strong, flexible jet engine connection. Windshields and side windows uses anti-static glass. On the passenger side, protective acrylic paint with a hole for pressure and temperature. Equalization and thick acrylic cabin windows maintain the fuselage structural integrity. Before opening these doors, Deactivate the emergency slide. Inside and outside overpressure lights signal safe opening. The door has vent panel, inside and exterior latches. The pilot controls the plane via ailerons, elevator, and rudder. Planes are rolled, pitched, and yawed using ailerons, elevator, and rudder. Locking the plane's height frees the elevator for finer control. A motorized mechanism rotates stabilizers threaded rod. Leading edge slats and trailing edge flaps change the wing shape and reduce tall danger during takeoff and climb. Special ground spoilers near the fuselage provide downforce during landing to stick the plane to the runway, slowing it down and putting weight on the wheels for wheel braking along the wingtip air lines and a row of multifunction spoilers at the wing's trail edge. Landing gear is mounted to a reinforced wing. The main landing gear is retracted hydraulically for landing. Its locking stay and hinged side brazing features are release and fold mechanism. Its wheel features a heavy-duty carbon brake sack, and nitrogen and oil-filled struts act as a shock absorbers during landing. Electrically driven pistons compress the stack, generating aircraft drag. Routers and setters are fixed to axle. The nose landing gear features smaller tiles, brakes, rack and pinion steering, and an engine, since there is already an animograph describing jet engine internals. This one will focus on the performance. The engine. The thrust reverser system reverses the fans to decelerate the plane after impact, reducing landing gear stress and allowing for shorter landing distances. The cowl's exterior is a sliding sleeve that tilts flaps to restrict and reverse secondary thrust. The APU power is the cabin air conditioner, cockpit avionics, and other items when the plane is grounded. 
The APU starts big engines of fuel and airflow with pressurized air. This air turns a turbine that rotates the transmission and engine internals. APU is a gas generator that acts like a jet engine score. The plane tail is where air enters. After being combined with fuel and ignited, combustion drives a turbine to pressurized air or power an electrical generator. The APU fuels the plane's core box and wing interior. Fuel tanks left center and right. The plane may weigh 38,003,500 pounds and hold 5,681 gallons of fuel. The wing ribs prevent gasoline slushing the fuel wing. Owing to body over fuel, the fuel panel displays fuel levels. Automatic valves prevent fires by ensuring uniform tank filling. Nitrogen rich air is introduced when refueling. Pressurized air is pulled from the main engines through bleed air valves, cooled and then delivers through air separation module, which removes oxygen and adds nitrogen to the fuel tanks. Fuel can flow back into the main tanks through one way flapper valves. Surge tanks at each wingtip maintain positive pressure based on altitude and fuel temperature. Fuel from the engine-mounted main pump is pulled into the stream by a narrowing tube. Each wing has backup electrical boost pumps in case other pumps fail. Body flow pumps move fuel from the center tank to the wings, electric tanks, and engine. The air control Pressurized air for the cabin and cockpit is drawn from the engine's low and high-pressure compressors via bleed air valves. After being cooled with fresh air from the ram air ducts, the wing to body fairing. The formerly hot bleed air is then sent on the climate control system for additional treatment, if necessary. In addition to the air outlet tubes connecting the system to the cabin controls above each seat in other location and plane, there is a low pressure ground connection for hooking up to an external air conditioning source when the jet is grounded. A pressure bulkhead is located at the back of the cargo hold, and there is an outflow valve installed there, as well as in the front pressurized compartment. Perforated piccolo tubes in the wing slats employ bleed air to dissolve ice as part of the anti-ice and fog system. The front engine cowl is heated with hot bleed air and has small exhaust openings at the bottom. Electrically heated film is sandwiched between the layers of glass on a windshield and side windows in the cockpit. The underbelly of the airplane houses two compartments for electrical systems. Generators attached to which engine are the primary source of electrical power, with the APU able to provide backup power. The aircraft's forward equipment bay is located directly behind a flight deck and the mid-equipment bay is tucked behind the wings. Landing gear, the high-lift flight system brakes, tire pressure sensors, and many other vital systems are supplied power from three independent electrical power centers. Front and center equipment bays each have two primary flight control computers, with a third serving as a backup. The hydraulics if one hydraulic system fails, the others will take over, and the third will be used only in extreme cases. Many essential flight control surfaces, including spoilers, elevators, rudder, and etc., are operated by hydraulic actuators in tight. Compact locations typically with multiple actuators connected to separate hydraulic systems for redundancy. These System 1 components are in the port wing to body theory. System 2 mirrors the port side. Multifunction spoilers 1 and 3, flat power drive unit left and right, and landing gear. Hydraulic system 2 powers the nose wheel actuators, right elevator outboard actuator, right thrust reverser, right and left multifunction spoilers, flat power drive unit, left and right slab brakes, and center rudder actuators. System 3 can trigger the ram air turbine slow actuator, the lower rudder actuator, the left and right elevator inboard actuators, 
the left and right multifunction spoiler 2, and the left and right slat and flap brakes in an emergency. Water and Waste The aircraft has three restrooms, one of which is behind the flight deck. The pumps used 42-gallon tank under the cargo areas for heated blankets are placed over water lines to avoid freezing. Below 16,000 feet, air and water are separated from waste as it enters the tank, and gray water from the sink flows via heated drain on the plane's bottom, where it evaporates. Waste from aboard toilets is evacuated after landing. After 16,000 feet, a vacuum generator empties a waste tank. Pressurized differential between the plane's inside and exterior creates suction. 911 and other emergency system. First aid supplies can be found in both the front and aft galley devices for putting out fires, such as flashlight vests for the crew oxygen generators are placed above each row of seats. And when the cabin loses pressurization, the mass deploy a chemical reaction produces about 30 minutes of oxygen. An emergency locator transmitter automatically activates if a crash is detected, emitting a signal that can be used to locate the aircraft. An aircraft identification module provides the lone identifier for the plane. The Emergency Electrical Power a ram air turbine or VAT is deployed automatically in the event of the total loss of electrical power. It works like a miniature windmill by harnessing the plane's forward notion through the air to produce emergency electrical power. RAP power maintains emergency in landing gear systems and power emergency hydraulic system number 3. Equipment base and cargo compartments have smoke detectors and fire extinguisher bottles, and temperature-sensitive fire detection loops surround each engines and APU. A flight data recorder keeps 50 hours of flight data in a crash-resistant memory in it. It has a 90-day underwater locate beacon. Health Management Systems It analyzes turbulence and landings. Foldable crew seats are in both galleys. The flight deck door is bulletproof and contains people to the passenger cabin. The passenger's side door latch prevents opening. A keypad and emergency override code let flight attendants into the flight deck. A companion film will detail the flight deck's external illumination and antennas. Green wingtip, red wingtip, and white tail lights are navigation lights for aircraft division. Red beacon and white strobe lights help avoid crashes. Flood lighting illuminate the plane's emblem and side lamps for wing inspections. Ground station antenna line, the fuse ledge. GPS monitors and prevents collisions. International internet KU band antenna. Have you enjoyed viewing this video? We are curious if this inspired you to ride one. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Give this video a like and make sure you're subscribed to our channel so we can serve you nothing short of mind-blowing content. See you in the next one.